This is the Sandhurst Amateur Radio and Electronics Group and uh, today we're having a bit of a demonstration by Tony Langdon who has two call signs, VK3JED and VK3IRL and he's going to explain what his collection of electronic gadgetry is relating to M17. So um, over to you Tony. Yeah, what we have here is a complete M17 station um, for transmitting over the air. Uh, there's uh, two main parts. There's a hotspot which is the gateway to the internet uh, to connect with other M17 systems around the world and the uh, radio terminal which is uh, using a uh, modem with a conventional um, uh, 9600 capable radio. Thank you. And uh, would you like to just detail what components you have here that make that up? OK, I'll start with the, with the terminal. Um, this little board here is a Raspberry Pi with an MMDVM modem board on top. The modem board, that generates the signal that's sent to this radio, an 818 in 9600 packet mode and then the 818 transmits that over the air on 70 centimetres. OK, and you have a phone beside it, is it? Uh, the phone's just for monitoring. Um, it's using an app called Droidstar, and that's just so I can monitor my transmitted signal. Uh, it picks it up directly from the reflector we're connected to on the internet. OK, so, uh, and the computer there? A computer's just being used as a remote terminal. Um, this part here is the interface for the modem. Uh, I could run that on a monitor with a keyboard and a mouse but it's actually easy to do it as a remote terminal so that's just to control it. You can also have an interface that uses a next gen touch screen. There's a couple of people uh, working with the touch screen as well. Okay and uh, what do we need to have a demonstration? And the other part here is our internet connection in the corner. On the left is a Telstra 4G hotspot to connect us to the internet. And on the right is another Raspberry Pi that's running uh, a uh, MMDVM hotspot board which has been uh, configured for M17 and that's connected through the modem to the reflector. Okay. Now to have a demonstration yeah, Are you, we you can, ready for that? We can fire up. I'd better put the microphone on. And you'll hear, you'll hear me come out the phone as well, so I might put that over there a bit. And press the transmit button. This is VK3JD listening on reflector 432 Delta. And as commonly happens, oh, you've got someone. Yeah, good day, Steve. KC1 AWV uh, VK3JD. We are live on M17 and on video, uh, demonstrating to uh, the world um, M17 over uh, radio. We've just given a system description of what the gear we've got here and now uh, talking to you just to show that it all works. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. You know, I, I've been trying, I've been struggling on my side to get the RF uh, working properly. I'm hoping the, uh, the hand fest that we got going this weekend is uh, gonna bring in some in intelligent people to help me uh, get the RF side things going uh, correctly. But uh, yeah, I'm coming to you through Jute Star right now, so I'm uh, on the M17 network. It's just that uh, I'm doing it through a computer instead of a radio right now. Yeah, okay, Steve, you're coming through quite well here, loud and clear. We've got you on uh, a nice big set of speakers so everyone can hear you. And uh, yeah, I've uh, described my setup. I'll describe it to you. It's a um, uh, MMDVM board running um, M17 client feeding uh, 
an FT8 180 9600 mode and transmitting to a hot spot that's about five feet from it. Uh, so uh, that's the uh, setup here and uh, everything seems to be working quite well. I've found, I've had trouble getting the hot spot working not on uh, the client side but the uh, modem works really well. Uh, KC1AWV VK3JD. Well, we're not preaching any distance records, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, I think the furthest distance that I got was about 11 kilometers uh, when doing some data testing. So it was just uh, me driving around doing APRS using M17 and uh, some of the hardware that um, WX90 Rob had uh, put together. Um, it actually works very well with the uh, TNC3 and uh, the Nucleo TNC that he designed. Um, but, again, my repeater setup here at the house, which is just a Kenwood uh, V71 uh, attached to an MMDVM modem, um, that seems to be having some trouble on, on my side. I don't have the proper test equipment to really bring um, everything into the uh, John Sack, uh, G4 KLX, he, uh, he does a lot of work with the M17 client. I'm glad to see that uh, it's working out well for you. Yeah, Jonathan's done an excellent job uh, with that and uh, I also have a TNC3 to uh, test which I might get to do uh, over the next few days. I'm uh, going to be putting the repeater onto an antenna for uh, a week of RF testing and it might be an opportunity to uh, get the uh, TNC3 up and running as well. Anyway, thanks for the test and demonstration, Steve. Uh, we've got a lot of good promise to the M17 community oh. to... Um, let them have a look at the video when it's done, so uh, it will come go through a bit of post-production uh, by the um, the uh, creator of it, and uh, will eventually be available on YouTube. Uh, Casey One AWV VK Three JV. Thanks again. Yeah, I'm glad to uh, you know have that active conversation with you, and I'm looking forward to seeing the video and uh, checking out that setup. Uh, so I'll say uh, 73 for now, DK3, JED, KC1, AWV, 73, and uh, have a good day. KC1, AWV, clear. 73, Steve, uh, KC1, AWV, VK3, JED, clear. Here it's uh, Steve, KC1, AWV, who's uh, heavily involved in the M17 community. He's uh, on the east coast of the uh, United States, so. Uh, we're going a fair way around the world here, although uh, only five feet of that path was actual RF. Okay, thanks Tony. Do you have anything more on the subject? or um, Just a little bit. Um, we haven't actually described M17. Uh, for those that want to know more, M17 is basically very much like um, DMR or Fusion or D-Star, except it's 100% open source. Uh, it's been built from the ground up by amateurs, started in Poland and uh, the uh, codec for the voice is the open source codec 2 uh, which uh, David Rowe, uh, VK5DGR, has been working on for many years and it's uh, matured so every part's open source. Uh, there's a number of hardware and software projects currently in progress including the um, system that I'm using here and uh, things are moving rapidly as uh, we speak really.